This is Joshua Hop JTH Boxing. Today I'm here. I'm joined by the sniper, Lerone Richards. Lerone, first of all, Happy New Year. And how are we doing today, my friend? Yes, I'm good. Um, yeah, I had a nice New Year with the family. And um, yeah, it's back to work now. So we'll talk about we'll talk about your 2023 first. It was the year where we saw you return. We saw you under a new team here at Steel City Gym. Um, what was it like to be able to get back in the ring first of all? Obviously, you know, you had that massive period of inactivity. I'm sure that wasn't necessarily ideal. I'm sure it wasn't the best time, especially as this is what you love to do. Like we were saying off camera, you've been doing this since you were six years old. Having that massive period of not fighting, I'm sure it was very frustrating. Um, and what was it just like being able to get back in the ring last year and get back to winning ways? Yeah, you know, they'll look at it and think it's frustrating. And, you know, at times it was. Um, but I kept my faith. I stayed in the gym and I learned more, added more to my arsenal. And, um, yeah, last year was just getting back in the ring sort of year where Lerone gets active again. And now this year we move towards titles. And obviously you've been picked up by Wasserman on Channel 5. Um, is it good to have that security again of knowing that you've got a promotional team backing you, someone who's going to put you out there? Um, is, is it good having that security in your career again? Of course, you know, with my style, you know, people don't really want to fight me. So it's good to have a promoter that believes in me, that's going to back me towards um, a world title shot. And obviously you had the other fights, well you had two fights last year, so obviously you fought Mick Ellison in Brighton. Um, a nice eight round performance, a nice dominant win. Um, just more, again, adjusting things, especially with the new teams. Obviously you only had two fights under Grant Smith. Um, first of all, how are you settling down here at Steel City Gym? Obviously, you know, I've come to this gym, this is my second time coming here. Everyone seems to get along, it seems there's a lot of, there's a lot of variation in people as well in terms of weight class. You've got Sonny Edwards all the way down at flyweight, you've got you up at super middle or even like heavy. Um, what is it like? What's life like at Steel City Gym? Yeah, it's good. Um, we have got a good team um, of quality fighters. Um, obviously, Florian Marku um, and um, Liam Cameron, um, you know, and Thomas Asomba, you know, Ebony Bridget, not Ebony Bridget, Ebony Jones, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, we've got some Nicola Burke. I don't want to forget anybody, but we, you know, we've got some quality fighters, and uh, um, yeah, it's good. We bounce off each other, and um, we learn off each other every day. And is it good to obviously, you know, you've got people at all sorts of different levels in their career, you know, Dalton Smith, he's pushing on for a career biggest fight. When that fight got announced, I don't think anyone in the boxing world expected to see Dalton Smith versus Jose Cepeda, but here we are. Um, is it good to have that variation of levels? So like, even though, let's say, you are much further in, further ahead in your career than, let's say, someone like Nico Lavaz, you can still pick things up off him. You know, you might see him do something like, oh, that, that looks good, you know. You can, everyone can still learn off each other no matter what level you're at. Of course, you know, um, no one's a finished article. Um, you've got to be an open book in this sport and you, you're never the finished product. So you need to keep learning. You can learn off anyone of all different types of levels and yeah, um, yeah, the gym's thriving. And let's talk about 2024 for yourself. What can we expect from Lorraine Richards this year? Obviously, we'll break it down. First of all, um, how many fights would you like to have this year? I would like three or four fights this year, um, stay active and you know, that's what my career has lacked. But Wasserman um, are going to deliver me those um, opportunities and I'm going to take them with both hands. And will your next fight, will you be coming in for eight rounds or are you going to be looking at stepping back up to ten soon? I've been looking ten rounds, um, eight or ten rounds, you know, but preferably ten. Um, but yeah, we're moving towards titles this year and push myself into world title contention. Do you feel stepping back up to ten is what, especially if you want to push yourself to world title contention? Obviously, there's been a lot of talk about European titles for yourself as well, like light heavyweight. Do you see any interest in taking those fights to try and become a two weight European champion? Well, you know, obviously, because I've been weighing in heavier than usual, uh, the narrative's been pushed that I'm at, su at light heavyweight. And yeah, um, of course, if there was a big title shot at light heavyweight, I would take it, meaning a world title shot. But um, to be honest, I've won the European at super middleweight and all my belts have been at super middleweight and I want to continue achieving at super middleweight before I move up. So is super middleweight going to be the... Is, is the thing with you weighing in more, is that because opponents coming in last minute who might not have time to get down to that super middle limit, is that just the reason why you've had them to come in at, let's say, 175 and that's why there's this narrative that you've now moved up? Um, well... You know, I'm not fighting for a title, so I don't need to make super middleweight. Um, but now we're going to move down. Then my next fight will be near enough, near the super middleweight limit. And um, yeah, the fight after that will be at super middleweight. So the plan this year, keep active, 
keep get yourself down to super middle. Um, and then obviously I know it's still only January now. But if we look at would twenty twenty five be the year where we see Lerone Richards really push for world title honors? That's the plan. You know, I'll get my shot, <clears throat> and um, and I'll get my shot the hard way, like I've always had to do, uh, which I enjoy by the way. And um, when I get my shot, I'll take it and I'll become world champion. I'm going to ask you a few things going on in box mode right now. Uh, in just about three weeks' time, we see Tyson Fury take on Alexander Usyk. Mm. It's a fight we've been screaming for for ages as boxing fans. Yeah. Um, if I was to ask you to break down this fight, mm. pick who you think is going to win and why. Do you know what? I'm a big fan of um, Usyk. Um, his skill set, you know, um, I love skills. But they always say a big man, um, a good big man always beats a, a small good man. Um, but um, Usyk's not just good, he's exceptional. So I'm going to favour Usyk in that fight. I like it, Joe. I think that's the first person I've actually asked when I've asked these questions who's actually back to Usyk. Um, the other fight as well, this one's going to be a lot easier to call, but more just your thoughts on it. Obviously, it's no secret Saudi Arabia are on the absolute takeover of boxing. Mm -hmm. uh, His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh is bringing us all these fights we've been asking for. You know, we've just seen a monster card in Saudi Arabia before Christmas. We've got Fury Usyk. We've then got Joshua and Ghanu coming up. Um, if I was to ask you about Joshua and Ghanu, mm -hmm. obviously, if I was just let's say a year ago, we would say Joshua by whatever way he wants, but. And Garnu pushed Fury to the brink. He, you know, only lost a split decision in a fight that many thought he won. Mm. How do you think Joshua and Garnu plays out? I feel with Joshua's last performance, um, he looked good, and um, I think he's just going to carry out that momentum. He's been very active, and um, it's th it's shown in his performances. So I'm going to go with Joshua with that fight. Um, two very nice men. I've met um, Francis in uh, Vegas a few years back. Um, good guy. And, you know, Joshua, um, Anthony, good guy as well. So I wish them all the best. Um, but, yeah, I have to favour Anthony Joshua in that fight. Lauren, I'm going to let you go now. Thank you very much for your time. And hopefully we get to see an active Lauren Richard this year as well. Because like I've said to you before, you, you are one of my favourite fighters I to watch. It, yeah. um, so if we could see you active this year, I'd be very good. So thank you very much for your time. I'm sure I'll catch you again soon. You. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you very much, man. Thank you. Yeah.